What's up guys and welcome back. So you guys know at the end of the day for us painters, it's always time to prime. And uh, usually you'll have to stay a little late and get everything primed up. That way you have something to do the next day and uh, you're not waiting on primer to dry. But now that I'm back with the PPG, one of the products that I did miss when I was spraying the Sherwin-Williams was their waterborne primer. So they have a waterborne primer in the PPG line that is very, very good. And it's a quick primer. It's got a good build and it's fast. So I definitely did miss this stuff. And now that I got it back, I'm using it again. And I like it because I can keep it loaded in my gun. And when something comes over to prime, I can prime it, give it a little air, blow dry each coat and get right on it right away. So this is definitely a good product that they have in the PPG line. And uh, let me show it to you guys. So this is it here. It's the uh, EPW115 and it is a waterborne speed primer. So this stuff here can get you in and out of a job very, very quickly when you need to. So I like having, like I said, I'll have a gun loaded up and uh, it's, a, it's a 1K product basically with the reducer. So it just air dries with just like the water base does. So I'm gonna show you this stuff here and show you how I use it. And uh, to any of you guys out there in the PPG line, I'm sure you guys know this stuff, but this is definitely a very good product they have. So let's go ahead and prime up a couple little parts and I'll show you how nice this stuff is. All right, so this is the spot we're gonna prime here. It's just a little end of this quarter here. And then we're gonna prime this spot on this bumper and we're gonna use that uh, waterborne primer I was telling you about. So let's go ahead and put a coat. I'll show you a little trick that I do that definitely speeds this stuff up. And it's nice because on this fest tool I have, it's got an outlet on it. So I'll show you why I need that. So let's put one coat on and uh, get through this. All right, so I like to use the 1.0 with this stuff because it puts down a small droplet and it uh, lets it dry quicker. So this gun really works nice, this uh, small Prolite, the Prolite S. So let's go ahead and put a light coat and we'll flash it off and I'll show you how I do it. All right guys, so what I like to do is use a blow dryer, not a heat gun. You wanna use a blow dryer, that way it doesn't get it too hot and skin over the top. So just get yourself a regular blow dryer that you have from the house and go ahead and just flash this off nice and easy. And you guys will see how quick it'll start to flash off just putting a little heat on it. Cause you wanna flash each coat before you put your next coat on, you wanna flash it off and that way you're having a dry coat on top of a dry coat and you're not trapping any of that water in this being that it's a water primer. So we're gonna dry it a little more and then we'll go ahead and put another coat. All right, so that's two coats and we'll blow it again. Get it to flash off. And now once this is flashed, this primer can be immediately sanded. So this is why I really like this stuff for production and it doesn't shrink. So one of my buddies that I was painting with years back, uh, my buddy Fennell, he actually showed me this trick with the hair dryer. So uh, much respect to him on this because it's gotten me to get a lot more work done through the day using this primer like this with this uh, blow gun. So you guys know we all learn from each other and that's the reason this channel it was made so that we all can get better on it. So I'm going to show you how once this is flashed now you can immediately sand it and it will not shrink. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the DA and I'll show you how it's dry. We're gonna use 600 on the Fest tool and that's the vacuum sander that I'm using here at this new shop. That way we keep the dust down. So let me go ahead and show you. There's no trickery here. We just got done 
blow drying it, and now we're gonna hit it with the six. And it's just as easy as that. So nice and smooth. And you see it doesn't, it's not powdering much because I got that vacuum, but you guys could see here that it's got a little bit of powder on it. So, but just this stuff here is definitely one of the best things that PPG has. And we'll go ahead and sand this spot here down and I'll show you that too. And there it is. So one of the best products that they have. And uh, if you guys are using PPG, make sure that you guys have this waterborne primer. It'll definitely uh, speed you up in the production. And uh, this stuff doesn't shrink. So I've used this when I was using PPG and uh, it's a really good product. So if you have it, make sure you use it and it'll definitely help you out if you blow dry it in between each coat. That way you get that moisture out of there almost just like the water base because this stuff has the same uh, water that goes into the actual paint you use into the primer on this. So just wanted to show you guys this one. You guys know how it is at the end of the day or if you're in the middle of you know a job and you want to get it primed quick and be able to shoot it in the booth, this is the stuff that you got. So hope you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.